Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, Mr. Top Hat Man and myself are back with more Bloodborne. This is Sir Carlicus' Adventures, where we're just about to face the guy with the giant, looks like a ball and chain or a baby rattle. We're still not quite sure. I think I want to try backstab on this guy if possible. Oh boy, oh he's a big one, isn't he? He's a big one, and he's a mad one, too. Okay, I actually don't think I'm gonna try to parry him. I tried to parry the other guy his size, and that didn't work out, so... I'm just going to assume you're the same. Baby rattle, ba ba da. It really is like a ball and chain he has. Whoa, whoa. Looks like prison time didn't bother him. He just got himself a new toy. Whoa. Pretty easy to dodge, though. Huh. Finish him. Was he not dead? I guess he had like one sliver of health left. Alright, blood vials. Don't mind if I do. I'll take them and I'll grab them and pick them up. I've gotten some wonderful advice from you guys as well that I look forward to implementing five bloodstone shards. People have been talking about the Kirkhammer weapon that we saw in the shop and are telling me that it's a pretty good strength weapon. So I actually want to go buy, go go back and buy the Kirkhammer. And apparently, where I can buy the emblem and use it on the door, I don't have to actually buy it. I can actually get around that gate without buying it at all. So we might actually wait a little then, and do that instead. Because 10,000 blood echoes at my level is significant. Is there anything hiding here? That's a chest. I gotta check if the chests have chains. I really have to. Oh boy. Is there anything here, I wonder? There are no chains of any sort. I don't see any breathing, so it looks fairly safe. Tempering blood gemstone. Okay, physical attack up. HP continues to recover, plus one. Blood gem that fortifies weapons and adds various properties. Especially rare bloodstones that grow on cold blood. They're needed into weapon. We got the tool to use those, actually. So this is closed. Okay, so this was a one-way... a one-way trip. That's okay, so now... we've explored in this general area. I thought... I felt like there should be more over here. Because... I don't know if there's... Can we go down over here? I don't know if we can. Well, we're gonna have to explore a little bit. I think we'll actually go back to the Hunter's Dream, because there's apparently a bath messenger that I... have... No fair! I locked him on the other side of the gate. But because I reloaded the game, he's now suddenly here. I could use the Bold Hunter's Mark, but I don't have that many of them. Holy shit! Okay, we're going! Bye bye! Uh, go, 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 go! Get the gate open, Carlicus! Carlicus? Huh? See you later, sucker! Haha! -ha. There's. I don't know if there's. Okay, close it! Close it. Close the gate. Close the gate, Carlicus. Na 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 na. I think he spawns on that side of the gate. And if there was nothing else that we really wanted to do there, there's no problem. Blood vials for free. Thank you. You shouldn't have. But I'll take them. Yeah. Nothing there. Also, you remember the area where I went to get the hunter gear? done in the sewery place. I noticed during editing that there was actually an item there that I forgot. So we gotta go back and get that too. Also, my hair is crazy today. Like, I'm trying to tame it and do the usual thing, but today's just been standing up all over the place and I can't seem to... can't seem to fix it. I'm just gonna have to get used to a new... a new hairstyle. Hello? Somebody mentioned something about doing gestures around you. Oh, that's so cute! Haha, -ha. look at that. You like that? But you do. Oh, that's so cool! Eesh. Oh, I love it. And I love you, you beautiful, beautiful woman. Okay, let's go and use the workshop to actually. Let's go buy Kirk Hammer. I think it cost three thousand or five thousand. Can't quite remember. 
Okay, buy the hand lantern. I'm not super into it. Car camera, 3,000. It requires some more skill, actually, before we can use it. One more skill, but it, it has a C scaling with strength. Trick weapon. Easily handle seal. It's like a sword and a hammer. I want to buy that and have some fun with it. Not sure if we can find it out in the wild, but... <laughs> out in the wild. You get what I mean. Oh! Over here! Buy with insight. Make trades with messengers using insight. So you can get a small resident bell, punch a blood cocktail. Gascoigne gear. Oh, that is nice. Since I'm going to be using less insight than the average player, since I'm never going to be summoning, I don't mind getting this gear. Kind of want it, actually. I'm gonna get it. Fashionborn, everybody. Let me become Gascoigne himself. Okay. Oh, yes. I'm gonna look freaking fancy. Haha! -ha. Dun dun, dun dun. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now we can cosplay. This is great. So I wanted one level up. I don't think I have the blood echoes for it, even though I called it souls in the last one. How dare I? They're totally different. Totally different, Dark. So, workshop. Blood gem fortification. So, let's see. We can't. Maybe we can't fortify a weapon we can't use yet. Could upgrade the Kirk hammer, but I think I should try it out a little bit in combat to get it. Oh, you're back! The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice. As every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods where hunters partake in communion. I've heard of that, it's like a chalice dungeon. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? Hmm. One of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley, Hamlet. Indeed it is, old man. Okay, so we have a couple of places we want to check out before we continue onwards. First, we actually want to go back to the first floor sick room. Somebody said that the door near the start of the game was actually... Oh, splendid. oh wait. Oh. Let me ask you a small kindness. What? You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Didn't know there was somebody there. Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. So I could also send people here then. But I already have the Odin Chapel. I'm fairly happy with that place. If you find anyone who's still human. Okay, well that's interesting. That's another another place we could potentially take somebody. Though I'm pretty happy about Odin Chapel. Thank you very much. Now we want to where do we want to go? I'm trying to think. We want to try to get back to that 
area where we found the hunter garb. This item... Ooh. Thick cold blood. Five. How many blood echoes is that going to be? Ooh, that's going to be enough for a level. That's just what we were looking for. Let's get out of here. Hello, hello. I wish to gain a skill level. Which I believe is also the stat that raises our visceral damage the most. But now we're getting it so we can use the Kirk Hammer. Alright. Let's test this weapon out. Could probably switch out the Saw Spear with it. Okay, so... Here we go. The basic weapon is a pokey pokey. A little pokey pokey sword. So I I put my sword into a hammer. Um Yes, please. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, yes, Gascoigne's gonna have fun tonight. This looks, this seems really fun. I wonder if I can also do like a... <laughs> oh, that was actually a really nice one. If you go back to your one-handed like that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm actually really liking the Kirk Hammer. Although, I think I want to use it a little bit before I decide what to upgrade. I think that's what I want to do. I've also been told that the Flame Sprayer is actually... Well, people have some mixed opinions on it. Some say that it's really fun and really good. As long as I boost Arcane, and others say that I should probably stay clear of it. So, I think I want to give it a shot, but we would need another level in Arcane. I want to try some different things, you know? All right, we're actually going to go back here because I don't have anything else I want to do at the moment. I love this weapon. It's so cool. So we had this area over here where we had a gate that I've... Oh! 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 Hey! Hey! You were hiding there, were you? All right. My problem with these guys is that... Oh. They don't actually seem to stagger when you attack them. That's a little awkward. Oh, that staggers you though. These jumping attacks are gonna be pretty powerful. Come here. Oh, he pulled back. All right, let me try to parry this guy. Ugh. Guess that how that's how I'll deal with them. That bastard. Blood vials. So we can go up the staircase. We have crows. Bloody crows. Kill them all! Doink. Doink. It is a satisfying weapon. Mm. <laughs> Smash them. I wonder if it's a little slow for my taste, but... Madman's knowledge. You know what? I'll pop that straight away. Boom, baby. It's a little nice park bench here. I like how you can hear some dark whispers as you pop it. <gasps> I heard something. And it was you! Okay. Oh, that, well, hey buddy. Yeah, I think we're gonna just parry those guys. I think that's the best course of action. Okay, so that, that doesn't do anything. I think it's just a little point. That was too late, but he missed, so what does it matter? Too late. Too late. Come on, Dark. You got this. Ugh. There we go. Just gotta learn their timing. Because I don't really like just straight up hitting them because they can just tank a hit and hit you back and that's not very efficient. Oh, hey. You're here too. Come, come then. Don't be shy. Plenty of visceral attacks for everybody. Casey drops some more blood vials. 
Wooden shield. Okay, I've heard tales of the shields in Bloodborne. Apparently, they're awful. Look at me! Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Aha, now I have a shield. This is proper Dark Souls now. Uh, was that everything that was up here? A gate, some fi- Closed by a device. Okay, so I think we might have to come around the other way to this area, but then where is the path to continue? Now I'm a little unsure. So I feel like we've been around this place pretty well. Let's see. Door that's probably closed. An old hag I'm gonna one day slaughter. I wanna see just how well it works. I don't think it's gonna work very well though. Hit me! <laughs> oh god, it's it's garbage. As I thought it would be. It's more of a joke item than anything. I wanna read its description though, but before I do that. Come come. Hyah! Boom. There we go. Wait your turn, mister. Oh, wait. I can go down over there. That's a different path. Right. That's a... It's not the same path as the one we took. The one we took was over by the gate and the big guy. We never just went straight down the road. Blue elixir. Somebody made fun of my pronunciation of that. Am I messing up the pronunciation of that so badly? I think we'll... Go back to the torch now. A crude wooden shield used by the masses who have risen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields, ineffectual against the strength of the beasts they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they engender passivity. Oh, shade is thrown! Let's go! This is new, this is new. New areas for me to explore. Sorry. Oh! Exciting. Okay, well then. Gentlemen, your death has arrived. I love his set. I really, really love his set. It's hard for me to choose because they all look so good. But I really like this set. Doggy do seeing me. Come come, doggy. Come. <laughs> Just as I wanted it to go. Okay. Let's go kill some fools. Hey, you. Loser. <sighs> Get out of the way for Sir Colicus. He is eager to slay some fools. Bring that life back. How dare you take so much of my life. I'm not super impressed with the sword itself. It seems pretty weak sauce. But... I am a big fan of the hammer. That I am. Rawr! Poor fool. I want to try out the flamethrower though. Cold blood dew. Molotov cocktails. So oh, we're gonna get more of those, huh? Good. I threw my last few ones off a cliff. So that is good. No way here. Can go up there. That looks ominous and scary. We can go up there with the guy just standing on top of it casually. I'd rather go here. This looks less like a boss arena. Oh, wow. Douche. Come on, doggies. Let's settle this. Ah! Wonderful. Good doggies. Good doggies. Nope. Pum, 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 pum. Ah! Backstab! Give me your goods. Quick silver bullets. I'll take them. That unlocks the door. Cool. And that was everything that was here. An extra door. And this is the room I could have gone into from the other area. There's a giant tomb here. Perhaps this is the tomb of Odin. Can jump down here. I'm gonna pull this. I'm a little. I'm a little worried. 
I think that's gonna open... Yeah, that looks like some sort of staircase, right? That's gonna lead down into the darkness. And maybe this is the Tomb of the Gods that he was talking about. But I think we can, like, attain certain, like, chalices and use them to enter some dungeons. I don't... Hello? You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Well, um, uh, sounds reasonable. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Fire paper. I think we can use those to enchant our weapon with fire. Pray. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. Thanks, Alfred. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Merchants? Talk about the Healing Church. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral, and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Alright, tell me about the Bergenworth. Bergenworth is an old place of learning. And the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Interesting. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. It was nice to meet somebody who doesn't want to stab your face. I can appreciate that, Alfred. I'll be off. Ta-ta, my good sir. Okay, I think there's only one way for us to go right now down here oh hey bum ba dum ba da ba da bum ba dum ba dum ba da dum ba dum ba dum ba da ba da dum bum bum ba da dum get out of here madman's knowledge that wall right behind me looks so much like a secret wall illusory wall but I've been told that there aren't actually illusory walls outside of chalice dungeons, so I don't think I have to fret about it. Which is nice to know, so I don't go around hitting every wall I come across. Oh boy, are we really descending into this tomb? Let's just let's just take take let's just take it easy for a second. I'm actually a little eager to try out my flamethrower, so I think I'm gonna just run back to the hunter's dream and pop a level of arcane Welcome. Very well. hello my good lady so we might spread our stats out a little bit just to try out different weapons and such but I feel like that's what a first playthrough of Bloodborne should be about so now we can take let's switch out the torch I still haven't found a good use for the torch and here it is so, how does this thing work, I wonder? Ooh! I like! I like that! 
So we hold it down and it consumes them over time. Away, you beasts! I shall burn away the scourge. Okay, that's cool. People have had mixed emotions about it, but honestly, that's... That's something I feel like using. It's gonna consume a lot of Quicksilver bullets. How much do we have in our inventory in total? I do wonder, do you not see that over there? Where do you keep track of those? Hmm. What? Don't you have like an overview of your... Perhaps I just don't know where to see the stats of that. Yeah, I actually don't know where I would see those. Because I only... Oh, well, I, I guess I have to check what's in the storage. Regardless, that out of the way, let's make our way back to the Tomb of Odin and maybe try this out on some of the people over there. I mean, the Cathedral Ward. Oh, you actually don't heal. That's interesting. You don't heal between... Teleporting? That's odd. That's something I thought you would. Okay. Well, good to know, I guess. We, we keep learning. The more we know. Knowing is half the battle! Ah! Not quite what we were going for. Come on. Bring it! Boom! I don't want to try the flamethrower on these guys. I can't stagger them. I want to go down to the villagers and see what I can do. We're gonna take a chance here and go down low on health. Come on. Yeah, that was a uh, pretty terrible idea there. Uh, I don't like popping them blood vials. Ah! But I wanted some extra quicksilver I could play with. Okay! My idea there was to like, you know, stagger him and then get my health back that way, but... Didn't quite work out. Okay, are we ready to torch some beasts? Hello, hello. Hey, boys! Hello, hello! He he he. Burn, beasts! Burn! <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, that's really fun, actually. How effective it's gonna be, I don't know. But maybe if we meet an enemy that's, like, really susceptible to... Fire, that would be a... Wonderful thing. Hoop! Boom! Hoop! Boom! Okay. I'm popping a lot of blood vials lately. It's less than ideal. We'll keep it around because if we meet somebody weak to flame, that thing is gonna be a wonder to have around. Okay, so let's go down into this tomb. Okay, item. It's a good sign. This place not as spooky as I thought it would be. Tempering blood gemstone. Cool. I wonder if I want to use this weapon more or the hunter axe. I feel like this weapon, this weapon set is more interesting than the hunter axe. Oh no. Oh. Mm, what do you guys say we conclude today's episode here, huh? Before we go into. Hell itself, let's take a quick break here, and I'll see you in the next episode. Let's actually get that new animation that we had over here. Oh. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.